Donald Trump, just days away from the beginning of the hush money trial, believes he has a piece of evidence that is gonna kill this entire thing. And here it is. He posted on Truth, look what was just found. Will the fake news report it? Well, as a member of the fake news, I, I must, I must re, uh, do this. So this is a letter. And look, if you want, um, you can go to it, you can see it. Uh, over the past few weeks, this is from supposedly from Stormy Daniels. 2018, January 30th, 2018. Over the past few weeks, I've been asked countless times to comment on reports on the alleged sexual relationship I had with Donald Trump many, many, many years ago. The fact of the matter is that each party of this alleged affair denied its existence in 2006, 2011, 2016, 2017, and now again in 2018. I am not denying this affair because I was paid hush money, as has been reported in overseas owned tabloids. I am denying this affair because it never happened. I will have no further comment on this matter. Please check blah, blah, blah on Instagram. Okay, so uh, that does seem damning, doesn't it? It does seem damning if it's true. And here's the thing, it appears that that is authentic. She did actually send that letter. But is it damning? Or any of the other claims that Donald Trump is making about it true? Not so much. First of all, look what was just found. No, it wasn't. You know it wasn't because you've posted about this before and not recently. We've all seen this. Look, if you watching this haven't seen that, through no fault of your own, maybe you're new to following politics, then that's perfectly fine. But this has been going around for years and years. And it objectively says, it seems word by word what he says it does, but it doesn't actually in practice. And so let's try to catch up a little bit. So first of all, that has been shared for a very long time. Stormy Daniels herself has talked about it. She posted on Twitter in response to this, she put in her book in 2018, she talked about it. She said then what she's saying now, she was bullied to sign it. She feared for her life. She had no idea if anyone would believe her. And by the way, when she and many other women came out about their experience with Donald Trump, um, most of them were not believed. So there was reason to fear what she feared. And she feared literally for her life. And so she has for years now been clear that she felt pressured into signing that, that it wasn't true when she said it. And look, if you if you don't believe her, then I understand that. You have the letter, you have her denying the existence of the letter. That seems to call it into question for me, but maybe you don't believe that. To be clear, back in 2011, in an interview with In Touch Weekly, she was asked about this. Okay, all the way back in 2011. This is years and years before that letter. So she passed a polygraph exam, apparently. She said that the two had sex on one occasion, and she described future meetings with them. They didn't publish it at the time because she threatened to sue the publication. It did end up getting published in 2018. Now, I don't know exactly why she was so worried about it coming out, considering that she did talk about it in the interview. That said, she has since described worrying about being killed as a result of revealing what she has. So maybe that plays into it. But in any event, this is not the evidence that he thinks it is. Many, many people sign things that they don't actually mean, that they don't actually believe, that don't actually reflect reality because of their fears of the consequences if they do not do so. And considering the willingness that Donald Trump has to intimidate witnesses, both on social media, but also pre previously by dispatching Michael Cohen to like stalk them and hound them through their private lives, you can understand why a person like Stormy Daniels might be worried about going up against a guy like Donald Trump. And by the way, she'd been making those claims notably, the math is clear, before he ran for president. This is not a thing that suddenly came out just because he was running for office. It's not, it has nothing to do with Joe Biden. This all predates that by literally years. And very, very few people actually deny that the events happened. The original affair, the hush money payments, the lying about it to cover his tracks, Nobody really seems to disagree with the facts of the case. They just disagree with whether the facts should matter in the case. And that said, Donald Trump, this is a pathetic last ditch effort to try to throw the entire thing into chaos or delay it or whatever. It's not gonna work. And if we get to this trial, everybody deserves to finally find out exactly what happened. And hopefully in a matter of just a few weeks, we'll know that. And in just a few days, we'll begin to know. Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.